Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today, I want to show you a little bit of work I'm doing in the lab. I'm trying to illustrate the effects of packet loss or latency on throughput. And I'm going to use good old iPerf. And, and I've talked about iPerf a million times, so I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to jump right into this and show you what I did and what I found. So, simple. We've got a laptop, switch, switch, another computer. And in between this computer's port, we have this opposite, which I always butcher, so I apologize, aposite, I don't know, <laughs> Link Trophy Mini. So this little box is a WAN emulator. You uh, plug in some values and it changes that port characteristics to match what you just did. I'll show you a screenshot in a second. It'll all make sense. The yellow cable here is just a management port to control this guy, so it's not like bridging through here or anything like that. Uh, and that's it. So this guy's a server, iperf-s. And this guy's the client, iperf-c, and then the name of the destination, the server. Uh, the only thing you have to really keep in mind is that when you do your iperf, you're going to see two different commands. iperf-c is the default, which is an upload, and then iperf-c, the host name, and then dash uppercase r is a download, reverse, and you'll see that in the results. So here's what the opposite screen looks like, the link trophy. Basically, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. I don't really have too much to add to this. It's uh, You'll see LAN A to B, which is over here, what I labeled. So this server is connected to him on A, and B goes back to the switch. So you can kind of control the direction at which um, the delay or the loss is happening at. Bandwidth, I'm leaving this alone, gig. So I'm just leaving it at gig, right? Real simple stuff. So over here are my results. So the first thing I did was I turned it off and I wanted to just see in line and what the characteristics of the two computers are today because every day a computer is different every hour every minute so you should always do a baseline so no delay and no loss and I got 800 up and 630 down that's my baseline and the baselines for the people who don't know this I always do at least five sometimes more but at least five drop high drop below average three that's your number okay so 800 wasn't just one test and 630 wasn't just one test either so the first test was to give some delay, and I got five by five. So five A to B and five B to A. So again, if we go back here, see that? A to B, and then B to A down that way. I'm not gonna do it for every test, but I just wanna show you at the beginning, okay? So just delay, no packet loss. And then all of a sudden my results dropped. 123 up and 137 down with just five seconds each way delay, all right? The second test, I left the delay alone, and this time I played with the loss. 1% up and 1% down packet loss. And I got fairly similar numbers. So I wanted to show the client that with just you know a minimal amount of loss or a minimal amount of delay, you can impact the performance of the connection. I'm not getting into the characteristics of TCP flow control, retransmissions, um, forced acknowledgement. I'm not getting any of that. I just want to show you cause and effect, all right? Because that's how we start to use tools. If you do have a WAN emulator, this is what you can do. Find out what the numbers are. If you find it really weird and you want to start tuning stuff, that's when you do the deep dive and you try to figure out what's going on and how to make this better. Uh, so I'm not going to touch any of that, okay? So test three, I started mixing and matching. So I had zero from A to B, but five milliseconds B to A. All right, again, A to B is down, right? And B to A is like up, if you will. So when you start mixing that around, no loss, I got 244 up and 239 down, which again is slightly better than these two tests, but way off our baseline. And then I did the same thing. I just inverted the numbers. So A to B, five millisecond delay and no delay B to A. So again, it's like uploads and downloads, if you will, the direction, right, of the of the the test. Loss zero zero, haven't touched the loss at all. Same approximate numbers. So now here's where the fun starts. Forget delay for a second and look at packet loss. So if I did play with packet loss, uh, again one percent and nothing on the way back, I got eight twenty two up and one twenty five down. But then if I reverse the two numbers. I get 136 up and 846 down. So this is um, kind of what's important out of the whole test for me is to illustrate to the client that even when you have loss in one direction, 
the performance kind of follows that, if you will. So if you want to break that out just in a little bit more detail, there's my test number five. And again, A to B, right? A to B. That's what that's the packet loss, A to B. And the test was, again, upload from here up. Again, was not impacted, right? A22. So from here up, we were good. And then when I did the download, that's when this A to B kicked in, right? That's when the packets got trashed and I got 125. So again, if you have a WAN emulator, there's there's many of them out there. I don't sell this one, I just use it. Uh, it's a very good one. Just make sure you have one so you can test in your lab, at your desk, at work, various loss and delay values that you may have, and it may explain some of the performance issues you encounter at work. That's it, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now. Uh -huh.